protesters continue to topple Confederate statues across the country, while in some parts of the country, elected officials refuse to move the monuments, even if the monuments are on public land. So, for instance, in northeastern Mississippi, one elected official argued that, look, the real problem is slavery. But it's not that slavery was the problem, it's what happened after slavery. He alleges that it made African Americans, quote, dependent. So this is in um, Lowndes County. Uh, It's 53% white, 45% black. And in this northeastern uh, Mississippi County, supervisors voted along racial lines against moving a Confederate monument that has stood outside the county courthouse in Columbus since 1912. The monument depicts a Confederate soldier and says the South fought for a noble cause. Let me just remind you that noble cause uh, in their minds is slavery. They fought to continue enslaving people in this country. At one point during the meeting, a white supervisor, Harry Sanders, said moving the monument would solve nothing and would be an attempt to erase history. After the meeting, Sanders, a Republican, of course, was quoted by the commercial dispatch as saying that other groups of people who had also been mistreated in the past, uh, he cited Irish, Italian, Polish, and uh, Japanese immigrants, were able to successfully assimilate afterwards. And then let me give you this disgusting quote, John, and I want to hear your thoughts. The only ones, he says, that are having the problems, guess who? The African Americans. You know why? In my opinion, they were slaves, and because of that, they didn't have to go out and earn any money. They didn't have to do anything. Whoever owned them took care of them, fed them, clothed them, worked them, also lynched them, beat them, brutalized them, dehumanized them. Of course, he didn't mention any of those things. Raped them. Um, And this is an elected official, a county supervisor in the area who just said it, just said this out in the open as if there's nothing wrong with that kind of statement. And and we still have to respond to people on our level or higher in terms of their reputation in the media who just assert there's no racism. The GOP. I mean, after all, come on. Lincoln was a Republican. These are serious things that they say. Yeah, absolutely. The rest of his quote was uh, they became dependent and that dependency is still there. The Democrats right here who depend on the black vote to get elected, they make them dependent on them. And by the way, that that disgusting framing is used by Charlie Kirk, Candace Owens, yep. Republicans in general. I mean, we've heard it by the Trump administration so many times, and it's just this exists like it's out in the open. It, it's overt. There's no hiding it. There's no attempt to hide it. So we need to just stop having a debate about whether this country has a race problem because the debate doesn't need to be had. It's already clearly clearly demonstrated by Mm -hmm. so many elected officials out in public right now. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.